you got to start to watch out for your hash hash marks okay so these little lines here these little dashes they're going to tell you where the numbers are, are are from so this is actually center Th these hash marks are center of this wall okay this is a three and five eighths wall it's center this one here right ha this hash mark is at the very end right so it's five foot three five foot three inch comes from center of this wall to the end of this one right so the, they want five foot three in between here and then you see here okay so this 16 foot three that's just from between this mark and this mark right so i you know so this is this is silly guys but they'll they do this all the time so you got to add 16 three and four foot to get your overall length of this wall so uh this hashtag is obviously inside of the existing um existing wall the existing exterior wall to the outside of the this one one run here so yeah pay attention to your hash marks and 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 see where they are like center or inside outside and like they, they're, they're just weird so that's how you do your layouts how you get your layouts right don't worry too much about being perfect okay uh you can you can move walls little bits here and there but you what the one thing you do have to be aware of is the the fire codes okay you don't and handicap codes and things like that i don't want you guys to be like too too worried like uh, nobody nobody's ever going to come to site guys and pull out a measuring tape and make sure the walls are in the right spot but you do have to make sure that you if you're moving stuff you're not making it smaller in, in places like this is stairwell there's fire code so corridors stairwells anything that there's fire rating you got to just check your spacing and make sure because you got to have certain distances from the the stairs to the wall and the door and things like that there's there's rules right uh, going bigger is usually never a problem and when you're when, when you're laying out exterior walls this is the most important thing you need to know you have to check in the entire run i don't care how long it is you need to check from corner to corner of the building and you want all of your steel stud to be on the outside of that building. You, there's no point in putting the wall exactly where the print says if it's going to cause everyone else a bunch of problems. Because you got to understand, the structural steel, they do the best they can, but it's always kind of within that area. It's never level. It's not square. It's just, it's structural. And it's, it's, it's our job as steel stud framers to go in and make it all nice and beautiful. That's our job. It's not the structural steel guy's job. Same thing with the concrete. Concrete's rough, right? Um, there, I mean, don't get me wrong. These concrete guys are really good these days and the forms are amazing. It's not always going to be perfect, okay? Uh, it's definitely never going to be perfect, <laughs> actually, but that's okay, right? Seal stud can be perfect, and it should be perfect. When you're doing it, uh, make sure you're checking it from one side of the building to the other, and and making sure that your steel stud is gonna is going to be is gonna pass. Okay, so when you do the exterior uh, drywall, it's nice and smooth, and, and it and it runs straight up to the parapets. Okay, you want to make sure your parapet in your and your in your exterior walls all line up. A lot of guys put the parapets in first, and then they shoot the parapets down, right? Which is fine too. But you got to make sure you check the entire building, corner to corner, and make sure that you your your lines are good. Okay, the the drawings are just more of a guideline. Okay. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta use your smarts, um, and, and make your building nice, build, make the building nice. I, I, I can, I always hate that. Oh, that's where the drawing says it, it's going to go. So that's where it's going. Right. Um, but it, it, like you, it's, it's okay to move stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of tired of like, I mean, sometimes, yeah, you definitely want to get clarifications. Okay. The, and it also depends on what contractor you're working with. You should probably know who you're working with. Um, but if it's like a big deal, uh, if you think it might cause an issue, then, then ask, but most of the time it's not going to cause an issue and it's just going to ho hold everything up. If you, if you wait for um, clarification, right? So these are your, um, uh, like your, um, uh, your section details, okay. Your section details show you elevations, okay, and uh, you can you can get cut throughs on that. So, and these are usually represented with like a see this right here, this symbol. So circle a circle with the with the with the detail number and the page number. That's your detail. But you see this one with the arrow, okay? See the one with the arrow. So the, the the triangle that's an arrow, that is your cut throughs. Okay, so every time you see this with the arrow, that's telling you there's a drawing that's showing looking from this side that way. And that's on 3A103, which is on the same page. 
See, two, uh, three and 103, it's looking this way. This arrow right here is always pointing north. So right now it's pointing straight up, but this is always pointing north. It's not always straight up that arrow okay but this is where north is this arrow right here so right here here we are so we're at the top of the stairs looking through the new door through this this the new door we're looking through okay and um, it's like as if you were in the building and you cut it right so now you're kind of getting a little bit of an idea you can see here another detail right the circle F detail five on a 103 100 uh, foot that's yours that's that is basically what this is to a uh, two main floor slab so basically, if it, it, what you what you're looking at with this number here is it starts at 100. So see this 111 foot four inch. That's it's not exact. It's not actually 111 feet up. It's only 11 foot four from the slab to the um, to the top of this Q deck here. Okay, it's only 11 foot four. It's not uh, it's not 111 feet above above grade. Sometimes grade will start at zero. Always leave questions in the, in the comments if you ever have them. I I get back to almost every single comment. The only time I don't get back to a comment is if it's ridiculous, right? So sometimes I get back to the ridiculous ones because it's fun, but <laughs> not always, right? But there's probably literally only a handful out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of comments I've gotten. There's only probably a small little handful of comments I've never replied to. And so I'm going to try to be like that as long as I can. Obviously, if I start getting crazy, like 10,000 comments, that's going to be hard to, <laughs> hard to do. But I will always, always try my best, right, uh, to at least, you know, go through and pick out. Uh, but there's always other ways to get a hold of me too, right? So through Discord and all that stuff, there's lots of ways to get a hold of me. So And then, so yeah, see, oh yeah, see here? And then it's also showing you right here, 11 foot 4. And then the, this part right here, okay, 122. So it's 22 feet from the from the first floor to the roof, and this area, like this, this is where my boss screwed up big time uh, when he was estimating this job, is because the, they they thought the whole building was at this elevation, but it's not. See this right here, this up here, this little tiny detail that it's in the wrong spot for one. Okay, this little tiny detail shouldn't really be here, but this is the front. The, this is the stairwell that they added at the front. And here's your elevation. And it doesn't have any numbers. See this? It doesn't have any any numbers. It only has your elevations for your windows right here. But you can see, see how this wall jumps up and, and angles like that? Well, he, my boss thought this, that this stairwell was straight across this height at this level, this 11 foot four, when in fact, it went up another 10 feet, <laughs> right? So you, you need to... Um, you need to really pay attention, guys, because uh, it's things like it's always in the details that screw you. He's definitely didn't didn't estimate it right because all of a sudden now we're in a stairwell here and we're having to get up to we're having to, having to get 20 feet up, right? Uh, which actually from the bottom of the stairs all the way up would be closer to 30. So how are we going to build scaffolding now? We had, I ended up building a platform across out of steel stud okay and then i put 10 foot uh, scaffolding planks across and then they had double baker in there okay that's how we did it but there the, all of that wouldn't have been in the estimate right 